Hey guys, Sam here. Welcome back to our FIFA 17 Middlesbrough career mode series. You guys are smashing the likes on this series, fellas. If we could go anywhere near 150 likes, we'll keep this daily content going for the Middlesbrough career mode series. I, I mean, I'm enjoying this career mode so much, and I, I really am happy that you guys are as well. Taking a look at the league table, we sit in third position at the moment after a fantastic start to the season. 15 points from seven games. I mean, we have been picking up some big wins, grinding it out. And uh, today we have our first game is at home against Watford. So if our recent results are anything to go by, we should be picking up three points against Watford. But it is easier said than done. And before we do get into that game against Watford, we do have another monthly scouting update. So we're going to take a look at who we have. Anybody with decent potential. Uh, 61 to 81. You know what? We'll sign this guy just to see what he's like. 69 to 93. How you doing, sonny boy? Whoa, 69 to 94. He's pretty decent as well. Nicholas Moore. We've got 85, 70, 88. I mean, I, I want to be signing people that have at least in the 80s. Because when people, when you think about it, 85 as an overall is not bad at the end of the day. So anybody over an 80 will scout them. But as you can see, just scouting some players went, put our manager rating up from 72 to 77. So we're really going to be focusing on our youth, trying to bring some players in and playing them in the cups later on in the season. And I think that'll help our manager rating. But without further ado, let's take a look at the starting 11 that'll be taking on Watford at the Riverside Stadium. That is the starting 11 going into this game. It's been the starting 11 going into a lot of our games recently. It's a starting 11 that's been working. It's Negredo up front with Fisher and Ramirez on each wing with Stewart Downing behind them. Desart and De Roon in the midfield with Fabio Espinosa, Ayala and then Suiza back four. Victor Valdez finds himself in between the sticks today. Seems to be the popular decision with you guys and he seems to be performing really well as well. So Victor Valdez gets another opportunity in between the sticks. Hopefully he'll make the most of it. Watford now putting their men forward, and it's Espinosa cutting out the attack, making it look easy as well. Good ball there from Dini. Out wide to Holebas, the left back. Loves getting up in attack. He finds Roberto Pereira, former Juventus player. Where's he going to go? Just makes that look easy. And it was Espinosa cleaning stuff up, and Valdez making the executive decision and collecting the ball himself. Watford with a free kick here. It's sent in. Dini's in there, and he's a danger in the air, boys. We've got to keep our eyes on him. Downing out wide to Victor Fisher. What can Victor do? He's got Britos to beat, and now he's got Kabul. He's got Negredo making a fantastic run, and the ball was a bit too late, I think, and Negredo is offside. Berami now out wide to Holobas. What is Holobas going to do on the ball? The left back finds Pereira into Okaka out wide to Daryl Yanmat. And Watford now is starting to pile men forward. It's Roberto Pereira and it's Ayala with a good bit of defensive work there. We're hanging in, boys, but Watford are definitely putting the pressure on us right now. All right, we've got an injury here to Gaston Ramirez. He's just gone down. Hopefully, it's not too serious because he's been playing decent on the wing. But we'll bring in Adama for a bit more pace. I think it's needed. I think we're struggling a lot in this game to find pace on the wings and space on the wings. So hopefully Adama can change that. Stuart Downing over the top for Negredo. Fantastic take from Negredo. One on his left is put it wide. Oh, Alvaro going for the magic. Nsu, good bit of play, finds Adama. Nice little hold up play. He's got... Downing, who plays it out wide to Victor Fisher. Back on his right, Victor Fisher had one more man to beat and he was going to have a go. Desart over the top for Negredo. He finds a fantastic run of Alvaro. Negredo, he's taken down in the penalty box. Referee, thank you very much. Negredo taken down by Daryl Yanmat. And Negredo has won us a penalty. I mean, I don't know if Yanmat did anything wrong per se, but uh, we're going to take it. It's going to be Alvaro Negredo. I really hope I don't screw this up, Negredo. No. I've screwed it up. <laughs> I didn't put enough power on it. And Herelio Gomez saves it. Negredo now. Into Stuart Downing. Downing over the top for Negredo. And the defensive header by Britos. Maybe could have found the back of his own net. But he's got rid of it. Nice defending. Troy Dini. Dini down to Etienne Capu. Capu over the top for Daryl Yanmat. Watford are definitely not going to lie down here. A great bit of play, and Dini's ended up blasting that wide. My word. Good, good bit of play between the Watford attack. And Dini's just... I think he's ruined that, to be honest. That's a decent opportunity, and he's just blasted that. Watford with a free kick here. Going to get rid of it. Come on, boys. We have to get rid of it. Do not allow him to take touches in the box like that. Oh my god, I thought that found the back of the net. I really thought that Cholivas had found the back of the net. 
Troy Deeney on the ball. Finds Daryl Yanmat out wide. Yanmat's going to push. But Fabio's too quick for him. Good work from Fabio. Good defending. Adama now with a long ball to Victor Fisher. Victor Fisher takes control of it. Negredo, get your ass in the box, mate. Don't ask for the ball there. Get it in the box. Negredo's running in! And the header was decent. Deflected off the Watford player. Or I think the Watford player just cleared it. First substitution of the game is Jordan Rhodes coming into an attacking mid position with Downing dropping to a defensive mid position. A very attacking substitute. Hopefully Rhodes and Negredo, that combination, something might happen. Something might spark. Downing out wide to Fabio. Not long left in this game. Neither team broken the deadlock yet. It's Victor Fischer on the left. Great defending so far from Watford. But it's Negredo over the top for Dayrun. Dayrun has Jordan Rhodes. And Jordan Rhodes! Son, Jordan freaking Rhodes boys. Come on, son. What a finish. Beautifully done. Coming on for his Premier League debut. Ten minutes left in the game and he does that. Negredo over the top of Dayrun. Dayrun threw ball into Rhodes and that is a finish, boys. I cannot believe that. Jordan Rhodes, this kid, he's stepping up. He is stepping up. He's on another level at the moment. Oh, that's a good ball. Etienne Capu! Oh, he's offside. Oh my goodness. Kapu scared the shit out of me. There it is, full time here at the Riverside Stadium. And boys, I really don't think we deserved all three points. I think Watford will feel very hard done by, but it was a grinded out three points here today. We really held on. So many chances for Watford to go up and they just couldn't do it. The defense stepped up, the goalkeeper stepped up and Jordan Rhodes, when he was subbed on, stepped up on his first shot, picking up his debut Premier League goal. A fantastic, fantastic journey so far this season for Jordan Rhodes, playing in the cup and now he stepped up to the Premier League. Alvaro Negredo, you got to be sweating, man. You got to be worried right now. I think the stats tell a completely different story. Seven shots, three on target for us with 54% possession to Watford's three shots, one on target, 46% possession. I really think that does not tell the story at all. I honestly thought the stats would be the other way around, to be honest. Watford did have a lot of good opportunities. They just weren't pulling the trigger. A lot of times they went forward, they weren't pulling the trigger, and that's why it shows less shots for the stats, but they were they were fantastic. I think Watford played really well, and honestly, I think they feel very hard done by to not be leaving the Riverside Stadium with a point. Unfortunate news, Gaston Ramirez has broken his ankle and will be out for three months. Very, very bad news here. Hopefully he recovers and hopefully he'll be back playing his best football. Okay, the next game in today's episode is a very difficult game. Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. It's going to be a really difficult game. And I don't know how they're doing on the league right now, but... They're sitting in 7th, and it's not bad, and they seem to be climbing up the table as well. They've scored 10 goals and conceded 8. We've only con we've only scored 9 goals, guys. 9 goals. That's the same as freaking Bournemouth down there, sitting in 15th position. So, obviously, that seems to be our biggest problem now, is actually scoring goals. We seem to be jagging a 1-0 or a 2-1 every so often, but... Arsenal's going to be a very difficult opponent, guys. Let's take a look at the starting 11 that that'll be going out and playing at the Emirates against the Gunners. This is starting 11 going into this game, guys. Not too many surprises. This seems to be our regular starting 11 now. With Negredo up top and Fisher and Adama. Obviously, Adama playing in right wing for Gaston Ramirez. With Downing behind them. Desar and Dayrun in midfield. With Fabio Espinosa, Ayala and Ensu as a back four. And it looks like Victor Valdez has pretty much locked down the first choice goalkeeper position. So hopefully this team can do something here at the Emirates. At least maybe a point would be nice. That would be very, very nice. But Arsenal are going to be a tough team. A lot of talented players that can make something out of nothing. So we've got to keep alert. We've got to hopefully keep ourselves in a good position to win this game and, and maybe pick up an upset, an upset three points. I mean, there's no reason. We haven't lost a game yet. We're playing some good football. So let's just get into this game. Let's try and kill the atmosphere early on and let's try and pick up a massive three points away at Arsenal. Coughlin into Alexis Sanchez. He puts it over to Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain who whips it in. Danny Welbeck is in there. And Ayala did just enough, but it falls to Alexi Sanchez. And they ruined that time, putting his body on the line. Last ditch defending straight from the get-go. The Sarks. Sees Downing making a fantastic run. Downing, however, couldn't control it, but he sees Desart making a fantastic run. <laughs> oh my word, Desart, of all players, has scored a goal at the Emirates. I cannot explain this team, boys. I just cannot explain this team. Downing with a good bit of hold-up play here. Desart continues his run, not picked up. 
and what a finish. Boys, I don't know how to explain this team. Legendary difficulty away at Arsenal, and we're 1-0 up, and it's a fantastic goal as well. That is a peach of a goal. I can't wrap my head around this team. Victor Fischer. Oh, Victor. Oh, Victor. Good work. Here we go. Room to make it 2-0. I can't believe I'm even saying that, but Victor Fischer whips it in. The great O's in the... Getting a bit of too ahead of ourselves, boys. 2-0, I think, is a bit out of our reach right now. Danny Welbeck now out wide for Chamberlain. Plenty of space for him and a great challenge from Ayala. Referee, are you joking? And the great O to Adama. Lots of room here for Adama. Cuts in, completely rips Mustafi. Tries finishing it. And the deflection nearly found the back of the net there. The fish had to whip this one in. It's a deep one. Espinosa's there all on his own. How do you leave a center back all on his own on a corner? El Danny out wide to Hector Bayerin. Bayer in now pushing down the right-hand side. Not many people can catch him, and Desart goes in. If he had caught him before the ball, that could have been a second yellow card, but it was a great challenge from Desart. Arsenal have a free kick. Last 20 or so minutes. Can Arsenal get back into this game? It's a decent effort, and Valdez with a fantastic save, keeping us in this game. He has stepped up in the past few weeks. Santi Cazorla. Is he going to go short? Hey, I can't get to that guy who's short. It's Alexis Sanchez. He whips it in near post. It falls to someone, but Victor Fischer got enough on it. Victor Fischer, plenty of room. I can't believe he's outpacing all these people. Come on, that's embarrassing, and Mustafi nearly gives away a penalty. I swear, he better not have permanently injured Victor Fischer there. It better not be an actual injury. Downing to whip this one in, fizzing it in. Negredo! Calm down, man. Arsenal with the last gasp chance. It's literally the last kick of the ball here for Arsenal. Monreal, you cannot keep going back like that. Monreal, what are you doing? I can't believe it. Full time, 1-0. Arsenal were shocking today. Absolutely shocking, in my opinion. Looking at the stats, Arsenal had 4 shots, 2 on target, 54% possession. To have 5 shots, 2 on target, 46% possession. And Arsenal just weren't doing anything. They were just so poor going forward. They had like two right backs playing. They were playing El Nenny out wide. I don't know what they were doing, but it didn't work out. Whatever they tried, it did not work out. And we've beat Arsenal at the Emirates 1-0. Boys, it's legendary difficulty. There's nothing else I can do to make this more challenging. There's just something about this team. That's all I can say. There's something about this team that is working right now. And what an impressive performance. Desart of all people. You wouldn't guess that he would be the one scoring the winning goal here, but he did. Fantastic goal as well. Great bit of team play. 1-0, 3 points. And we're still undefeated. Right, before we wrap up today's episode, I'm going to do a quick squad report. Taking a look at Victor Valdez. He's got 4 clean sheets in 6 Premier League games. Absolutely astounding so far. He's been really, really good as well. He's been making a lot of saves. But I'm going to quickly run through everybody and you guys can take a look at their growth. Um, if you want to pause on someone, go ahead and pause on someone. No one's been growing, like, too tremendously much. Downing's gone down, unfortunately, but yeah. We've got a couple of players going up by one. I don't think anybody's gone up by two, uh, but we, yeah, we've got a couple of players going up by one, which is more than I can ask for. Um, maybe some of these players, the reserve players, have gone up by two. Maloney's gone up by two, um, and that striker as well. Cook has gone up by two. We've got Chambers. We've got Gaston Ramirez has gone up by two, but he's injured, so that'll probably go away. Clayton is injured. We've got... <laughs> We got, yeah, a couple players out on loan as well that I haven't grown, which is kind of unfortunate. But that's pretty much what the squad looks like. Nothing too impressive yet, but it is still early on in the season. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's episode. Can you freaking believe it? Chelsea have a game in hand, but we're sitting at the top of the table right now. Ten goals in nine Premier League games, and we're sitting at the top of the table. I don't know how that works, guys, but it has worked. I, I'm not sure how. We sit in first position... And I have no words. Absolutely none. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, please leave a like on the video. Next episode, we play Manchester United in the EFL Cup fourth round, which is going to be a massive game. So if you're excited for that, leave a like on the video. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. But I hope you did enjoy today's episode, guys. I hope you had a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Keep it real.